Hey guys, it's John Cochran from renttoownconnect.com and homebackers.com. And on this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you exactly how much you actually have to put down whenever you are purchasing a rent-to-own house. So it varies um, depending on the seller, but here's kind of the rule of thumb. So um, whenever you are rent-to-owning a house, it is very, very different from a rental. Okay, so a rental typically you just have to put down about one month's rent. Um, to go ahead and secure that house. But a rent to own is very different because you're not just renting that property because you have all intentions and you will be going ahead and owning that house as soon as your credit typically gets fixed. So that's typically why you're doing a rent to own house is because your credit's damaged. Very, very common. So, so how much do you actually have to put down on a rent to own house? Well, I can tell you that I have seen, we've done a lot of these transactions um, and I can tell you that we've seen it anywhere as low as $500, and that's very rare, but we've seen it as low as $500, but then we've seen it as high as $10,000, $12,000. Now, hold on. That doesn't mean that you're actually going to be paying ten dollars to $12,000 on a rent-to-own house. Um, basically, um, who, who establishes that number is actually the seller. So whoever owns that house currently is going to go ahead and establish that number. Now, a good rule of thumb would be to anywhere between 3 to 5% of the sale price. So if you're doing a rent-to-own house and anywhere between this, you know, just whatever the sale price is of that house. So say the seller is going to go ahead and sell, just using easy numbers. The seller wants to go ahead and sell that house for $100,000. So, uh, three to five percent of that would be three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars. Now, typically, now this is not set in stone, but typically the seller will want anywhere between three to five percent. So that's going to be three to five thousand dollars on that hundred thousand dollar house. So I can tell you that that number is negotiable, but I I can also say too that a lot of times the sellers do not like to come off of that number. So. Um, a good rule of thumb for you would be three to five percent of your savings to go ahead and actually get into a rent to own house. So um, your rent to own payment is going to be a little bit higher than what it is when you actually go ahead and purchase that house and get a loan from you know a small bank or um, just a big bank or whatever. Wherever you're going to go ahead and get your loan at, it's probably your your payments are probably going to be cheaper actually getting a loan because it is cheaper to go ahead and buy a house than do a rent to own on it. But this video is all about how much you actually have to put down on a rent to own house and that's a good rule of thumb is three to five percent. So uh, when, whenever you find a rent to own house, maybe you've already found one, please give us a call because we would love to go ahead and show you that rent to own house and get you in that house um, as soon as possible. So all you have to do is call the number on the screen and we'll talk to you soon.